We're gonna build a fraction wall Build it nice and tall If you wanna take action to compare fractions Build a fraction wall Let's compare one-fifth to the other fractions on the fraction wall and see if we can find any combinations that are equivalent or equal to one-fifth. One-half is greater than one-fifth, so we can't make an equivalent fraction to one-fifth out of halves. One-third is greater than one-fifth, so we can't make an equivalent fraction to one-fifth out of thirds. One-quarter is greater than one-fifth, so we can't make an equivalent fraction to one-fifth out of quarters. One-sixth is less than one-fifth, and two-sixths are greater than one-fifth, so we can't use sixths to make an equivalent fraction to one-fifth. One-seventh is less than one-fifth, and two-sevenths are greater than one-fifth, so we can't use sevenths to make an equivalent fraction to one-fifth. One-eighth is less than one-fifth, and two-eighths are greater than one-fifth, so we can't use eighths to make an equivalent fraction to one-fifth. One-ninth is less than one-fifth, and two-ninths are greater than one-fifth, so we can't use ninths to make an equivalent fraction to one-fifth. One-tenth is less than one-fifth, but two-tenths are equal to one-fifth. So two-tenths and one-fifth are equivalent fractions. Let's summarise what we've found. One-fifth and two-tenths are equivalent fractions. One way to check for equivalent fractions is to see which fractions line up with one-fifth when you draw a vertical line from the end of one-fifth down the fraction wall. The end of two-tenths lines up nicely with one-fifth. 